One of the biggest mistakes I see students making with LSAT logical reasoning is that they're spending way too long on the easiest questions in the section. One of the nice things about LSAT logical reasoning is that the questions are in a general order of difficulty. Not a perfect order, but a general order. So you can still trust that the first 10 questions are going to be quite a bit easier than the tougher ones later in the section, especially in the late teens and early 20s. But if you spend your average of a minute 25 or so on each of the easy questions, then you'll only have that same amount of time on the tougher questions that come later. And it takes more time to do harder questions than easier ones. So if you want to have two, two and a half, maybe even three minutes to tackle some of those toughest logical reasoning questions, you've got to make up that time or build up that time, bank that time from the easiest questions earlier in the section. I typically recommend for students aiming for 165 plus to try to do the first 10 questions in about 10, maybe up to 12 minutes or so. That helps you save up some time or bank some time to use for the toughest questions at the end of the section. And speaking of order of difficulty and how that affects your pacing, one other thing I would consider is don't let yourself get bogged down by the hardest questions in the middle. If something is giving you trouble and it's not sticking, skip it, come back to it later at the end when you've knocked out all the questions that are easier for you. It doesn't make sense to invest two, three minutes in the moment on a tough parallel question when there are a couple of shorter and easier questions that are coming up right after it. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to reach out if you need anything at all. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll receive notifications of all new videos as I release them. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.